communications is being able to talk to people or conversate with people by expressing your own opinions, your own ideas, or understanding their opinions and ideas and being able to get a point across. I think being able to like read people's body language and understand when they're not understanding something and like, react to that and not just you know give your spiel and not know if they understood it or not, that makes good communications. Uh, when I worked SOAR for Dominican, uh, you have a lot of incoming freshmen, a lot of kids who just don't know like how to talk about what they want to do or they're just confused in general and just being able to tell like when people were not comfortable or if they had a question they didn't want to ask or if they were just you know shy and just scared to reach out being able to identify that and accommodate to what they needed that's kind of how I've had to use that. Uh, I prefer verbally. I like the face-to-face -face conversation. It's a lot easier to know if people have understood you and are able to recall what you've said and not just, you know, copying and pasting what you've said back to them. I think because of today's society where we have so much of that non-face-to-face -face communication, whether it's text, phone calls, emails, blogs, whatever it is, you have to be able to understand both and be able to communicate well in both formats and not just be a really good face-to-face -face speaker, but you can't do it as well in your writing. I wish I had paid attention more in my Spanish class, but I, I think it really helps and I think it gives you an advantage that a lot of people don't have. Because if you can't communicate in two languages, then you have a step above everybody else that you can move forward. You know, you can communicate to a wider range of people and a wider range of ideas and topics. I would say as, like, because I worked orientation, not a lot of people know about the communication department or the types of classes that it offers. and. I mean, a lot of people in my communication classes have not been communication majors, but it's a topic that can be really helpful to a large range of people. And so, like, when I was helping students with registration during SOAR, I would tell them, like, I mean, just take business and professional speech or take or interpersonal skills or something like that that can get your foot in the door that can be helpful for any type of class and not just, you know, you have to be a communication major if you take this class.